Ciao guys and welcome back to Lempis. As you can see, there is fire and pot behind me. We are in my hometown, Sandy, in Namibia. And today we're going to show you Namibian street food. A whole lot of meat, grilled stews and porridge. Yeah, come with me. Uh, you guys. Good morning. Good what time morning. Is it? it is. What time is it? It is half half past five. We just got here, and we are where, where are we? In Sandy, in my hometown. Mm -hmm. And where are we exactly in Sandy? At the street food stands. At the street food stands. Because we want to eat fresh meat for breakfast, as if we haven't been eating enough meat for the past four days already. <laughs> and what they do here, they slaughter. Each person or each seller slaughter a goat every day and they literally just sell it from A to Z. So they take the stew, they make the stew with tripe and neck bones and all that and then the rest of the meat they use it for kapana or for grilling and you see that in the other videos. And then the other parts which is the hooves and the head is also sold to other people that do this specific stew for the head. Mm -hmm. And here, as you can see, we have a big pot with everything. So us. Yeah, it's not for us though, but we're going to take a portion to taste. <laughs> so the lunch is also going in the intact, so it can be cut later. Mm -hmm. Meat is super, super fresh. Oh, that's for sure. Not only fresh, it's completely. It's you still see the red color of the meat, which you mm -hmm. never see in Europe. Like they literally never. When yes, yeah, this is the tripe. But can you see? Here you just mm -hmm. cut everything on your own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very simple stew, you just put in salt and I think some pepper and a, and a curry. Only body. Mm -hmm. And it's a mixed stew. You have um, goat. You have goat meat, like normal chunks. Mm -hmm. Then you have also the tripe in mm -hmm. the same stew. Then you have the intestine in the same stew. And this is the tribe. And this is the tribe in the intestines. Mm -hmm. So this one doesn't is they don't cut it in small pieces because it shrinks. Uh -huh. So first you just put it in like this. Then you cut it when it's cooked so you can <laughs> it has direct fire. So um, but it's every dangerous. time the fire decomposes it does this, but I don't know how it it tilts every time that the the fire decompose or the the wood decompose of course they have to adjust to adjust the but looking at this I'm like it's going to spill all over and you're going to get meat on the ground. <laughs> A lot of salt. It's like cooking pasta. Now you're going to see. So they roll them. Right. From the top. Like this. Mm -hmm. They roll them and then you cook them. Mm -hmm. okay, for the first time they remove fat. So the intestine at another level when you have to fat content. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Ah, then they take the clear ones and they roll in. There isn't really complexity to this cooking. No. But you know, when, when you're going to eat the meat, when you see when it's ready, it's nice. And I think that's the best because usually at homes, cook, people cook with a lot of spices. Mm -hmm. And here they do it very simple. Yeah, and the meat is the, salt and pepper is the main and ingredient. The roots are quite stable, huh? Mm -hmm. I think they have a specific way to put the roots. Yes, yes, of Five kilos of mealy, mealy, maize meal. Okay, mm. so the mahang would, how much percentage of mahang would it be? Mahang will come later, but uh, the first thing you do is with a, with a top score, which is just maize meal. Mm -hmm. We finally, finally grind it. So all that goes in here. Somebody is here checking the porridge. Oh, so we, we have a beautiful sunrise. Tell me something now I'm recording. What are you trying? I'm just having breakfast and today is going to be a very heavy breakfast. Mm -hmm. A big pot of porridge and a big pot of meat and to that grilled meat or mm. only the stew. And the smoke. Eh? What's on girl? Mm -hmm. And the smoke. I mean, it's it's peaceful, yeah. There isn't a lot of electricity, a lot of infrastructure, but I have to say, a village life is very peaceful. Mm -hmm. For me, at least. I don't know. How was it for you the past two days? I mean, it is, for me, it's like another world because, uh, of course, it's completely different from what I know, but it's, it's you're right, it's really peaceful. The, even though people are working hard, waking up early, and every single th thing is achieved with a, l a lot of amount of work. Uh, yesterday I was completely surprised uh, from the amount of work that you need to make marwa oil. To make marwa oil is like a process that required the, almost the whole day. But at the end of the day, people are relaxed, uh, no stress. Like uh, in our days, we live uh, in a society that is like work, work, yeah, it's like work, money time work. thing. But here is not money time thing. This is just about living, really. Exactly. And for me, it's also the time that we take the the animal to the houses, for example. Mm -hmm. It's just a um, beautiful time of the day. And the moon behind you. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful and big, and then we have the sunrise. But can you see that with the camera? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's a lot of porridge, it's huh? a lot of porridge! Yeah, I could do I could take a pee. Yeah, but you have to hold long until the sun comes up. 
Oh, it's coming. But it's so bright already. As you can see, all that water has drained. And then, can you see all these big pieces that she put in before? Mm -hmm. She took them out already and she cut them in smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. And now everything is really... Oh, she's still... How much is it? $10. Yeah, so, every... It's about ten dollar, which is about eighty cents. I would say eighty cents in euros. For a piece. Huh? For a piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my favorite piece. What is that? It's the throat. It's the throat. Yes. Oh, really? Yes, it's just cartilages. And then when you get this, when you buy this, you are served with a, a little bit of the oil is for the one that is going to be grilled. Then you are served with a like a sweet chili sauce and actual chili. Mm -hmm. And some salt. Okay, so. Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. So, as you can see, there is like this is fire ready for the grill. And before they prepared this, it was this fire for the, for the stew. And after that, I don't know what they're going to use the ash for. It's being cut out. Then the rest is going, the ribs are going to be grilled. So, the, the rest of the meat is also going to be sold fresh for, you know, like just for domestic purposes if mm -hmm. you want to make uh, porridge. And that's how they make porridge on the fire, right? Yeah, that's porridge on the fire. Eating meat at another level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. The pot here full of meat and then the porridge that we just prepared a few hours ago it's all for breakfast mm -hmm. <laughs> yes i guess we really, really take some pieces before we finish <laughs> So this is like, she's just rubbing the grill with uh, pieces of fat to clean it and make it clean. Also, remove all the ash and stuff. Uh, <laughs> like before they put in the actual meat, can you see it's already getting so bad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here, closer to the microphone. This is like a nice. This is kind of a sauce. A sauce. Salt and cooking oil. Yes, it's to give it moisturized. Mm -hmm. Now we have also a nice recipe when you're going to be at home. We're going to make nice meat. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. If you can find nice meat. Yeah, okay, if you also find nice charcoal. So you basically just look in the pan, in the pot, which piece yes. you... Yes, so this is the thing, because this is a small town. She doesn't care about who is coming here taking the meat. You just come, soap service, you give the money. Each person knows already, one piece is... Uh, one piece is... Um, is what? It's ten dollars. Which is not a million, no? Which is about eighty cents. Let me put it this way. Maybe it's a little bit too much. Yeah, too. Is it too much? No, it's fine. And then you have to add. This is also self service. Mm -hmm. Oh, the knife is so sharp. The first I have to try. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Everything is soft service. Mm, this is a tangara, the real one. Mm -hmm. Like not the white stuff that you see. 
in the supermarket. Hello? Continue. So this, the intestine stuff you now cut it. And it formed disc. And if you remember in Spain, these discs are deep fried. That's right, yeah. Mm. It's chili but with an extra chili thing that she put in. Oh, uh, And then we can just put here. Yeah. Mm. And then we put in this one. So a small piece of porridge. Yeah. And in the chili sauce. It's hot. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Uh, <coughs> and the chili is super spicy because it's not like the commercial one, they added extra chili. And the meat is nice and tender and simply just sold and and a little bit of curry it's, it's really delicious this is like the tripper i'm going to try the tripper a little bit of chili